Hello everybody, this is Sinister762. We are uh, going to hit you up with another Outward video. This is uh, part two of trying to get our Vampiric Sword, our Vampiric Great Sword going. And we are going to go to the Lonely Tower up in the top. Greetings, friend. How you doing? Right hand corner of the Marker Forest where you come in from Sher Sinise. And we are going to battle our way up there and try to flip a switch is what I think we're supposed to do. So we're going to sell this stuff off and go ahead and head on up that general direction. You know, make a little money along the way. Get some, uh, get some fights in. And hopefully you can notice that we are running a little bit better audio, I hope. I invested in a blue snowball microphone so I can start doing a little bit better audio and use it when I get over to the computer side of things because it crosses over. I am running it on the PlayStation so we will see how well the audio turns out. Okay, what are we going to do? Probably need to shoot those dudes. Try to split them up a little bit. Why did you have to move? <sighs> Stupid machete guy. Why do you always have to move? I think that's a machete guy. I don't know. Might be the... And of course, get all of them coming over here. It's always good. One more shot. Why do you gotta keep moving? Oh, that was the... That was not the same dude. That's the machete dude. Here, get some. You need to get shot. Man, I feel like John Wick with this bow sometimes. I'm getting pretty good at it. There we go. We finally get that switched over. Alright, we got one dude left down here. I think it's the archer. Yep. Come back here. Oh, archer. Stop running. Would you please? I am trying to take you out. Why do you keep moving? Okay, let's pin him up against the tree. Maybe we can get in there. Okay, and he's done. Goodness. Why does he have to be such a pain? I don't need him to be... Rolling around, jumping all over the place. Okay, we're going to get a little bit of a montage in here. And go sell this stuff so y'all don't have to sit here and watch me do that the whole time. And here we go. selling stuff to a vendor could be so metal okay we're gonna take out this ghost up here I just barely saw him when I was coming over the hill we have a varnish on here for ghosts come on dude drop that shield you know you want to ow why you gotta be such a jerk okay 
Oh, shield it up right in time. Oh, there we go. See, now that's cool. I actually get the essence back from the ghost, too. So, I could dig that. We are headed up to the lonely tower over there on the hill in the center of the screen. There's another ghost over there, I think. It's one of the red dudes. I think we're going to kind of bypass him for right now because we don't know where we're going to run into on the inside there. Because I've never done this small... I think it's a small dungeon. It's really not much to it, I don't think. <sighs> so we're going to get in there and do some uh, mountain climbing over here because we're part goat, apparently. We're going to hop down in here and see what happens. Okay, and we are in. Well, there's one ghosty. What else we got? Two ghosties? Maybe we can get them both. Catch them by surprise. Well, he's half dead already. How about we not get slapped by both of them at the same time? Get them all on one side. Ow! Stupid. Why you gotta be such a jerk? Why you gotta be such a jerk? Okay, run away, run away, run away, run away. Okay, we got time for a drink. Well, let's swig a potion. Oh, well, I wasted part of that potion. Come on. You guys aren't that fast, are you? It's gonna rage. Nope. Gotcha. Ah, one on one. Let's do this. Your buddy's gone. Come over here. Get smashed. There you go. And you're smashed. Okay. Let's see what's in this over here. Ooh, Beast Golem Axe. Ooh, that could be good. I think I have Beast Golem parts. Might have to go look at that later. Okie dokie. Oh, look. There's that switch we need to flip. I think that's the only thing in here, though. I don't even think you can, like, mine mana stones. Oh, there's a... Was that an adventurer's corpse? Poor dude. He doesn't need it anymore. Anything over here in the bushes? Nothing in the bushes. Oh, there's a dude. Okay, I don't need the mining pick, but I'll take the bandages. Arrows, bandages. Eh, skip it. I guess we'll just take it all. Way to go. I thought I was going to... I don't, really didn't need another pickaxe, but apparently we're going to take one with us. I think they sell for like six coins. I don't know. We'll have to see. Alright, and we're out. Okay, now we have like five pickaxes probably because we can't resist picking up a pickaxe. But we're gonna see. See if that ghosty dude's still down there. Yep, I am officially part mountain goat for some reason. Where's he at? Is he still down there? do another one, just because it's fun. Go down here and take this dude out. Get a little bit of impact resistance, because he hits really hard with his two-handed mace. Nope, not going to get me with that one, buddy. Man, you hit hard. Okay, 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 okay. Two-handed. No fair doing those back to back, that hurts. Okay, let's get wrecked. You know you want to. Aha, you missed. Capitalize and attack. Alright. And we celebrate that with a montage, boys.
Okay, and montage over. We're going to take out these dudes. Because maybe we can get one to chase us down here so we don't have to do all of them at the same time. Okay, machete boy shouldn't be too bad. Oh man, my ethereal damage is gone. Oh well. Pretty sure he's not gonna mind just regular steel. Oh yeah. Well, that worked out well. Okay. We might have to go back up there and get that other guy. Tell you, these shield guys with just a standard claymore is kind of tough. I don't even hit his board on that one. Okay. Yeah. Get some. Ouch. He gave me some back. Come on. Bring it to me. Let's get this. I don't have any stamina. No stamina. No stamina. No stamina. I'll let some of the stamina come back and then we can hit him maybe the two times that we need to hit him. Alright, dude. Oh, you dodged it. You're a jerk. Come back here. Yep. Haha, uh -huh, you missed. And you're done. That's what you get. I'll take your seven dollars. I just made like twenty bucks off that dude. <laughs> okay, bandage up. I think there's one more dude at the top of the hill. He's not a shield dude, though. And I don't think he's a machete guy either, so... We'll just go up there and hit him with some lightning. See if he likes that at all. Here, have some lightning. Oh, it's the archer. And he's not gonna like lightning at all. Okay, and he's done. Cool. Okay, now we can go back over to the tree husk and get the fire poker? Uh, I can't remember what name is attached to it because I don't always remember names. So that door should be open after what we just went and did. Let's see what happens. Alright, jump down. Yay, it's open. Lots of bedrolls down here. Who's taking naps in dungeons? And a ghost eye. We take those. And another ghost eye. We also take those. And now we take the fire poker. Just because we can. I don't know if I'll ever use it because it's a single... It acts as a single-handed sword. So... Let's, let's go ahead and put it on and see what see what it'll do. It's 1.2... 25 impact, 14 and 14 on... I think physical damage and fire damage. That's pretty cool. And it's fast. I like it. Maybe we can use it later on after we finish our vampiric sword alright guys we're coming up on the end of the video here um, let me know if you like how it sounds now I will let you know we do have the dryer running in the background so can't really do anything about that right now and as always don't forget to be awesome bye everybody <laughs>